Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read and meditate on a very important verse from the Bible as we read from Psalm 96 verse 10. It says from the King James Version Bible, Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Hallelujah. The Lord reigns. It is true. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us, be with us and bless us. Amen. Home of our hearts. Lost we, least we forget. What our redemption meant in thee. Let our most reverent thoughts be set upon thy Calvary. When Christ hung on the cross of Calvary, he was apparently the biggest failure, isn't it? The world had ever seen. For no other man had even dared to make such astounding chains and claims as he, yet there he hung, nailed to the cross of shame, exposed to the view of a coarse mocking crowd, cut off in early manhood, betrayed by one of his own personal friends and deserted by all of the other apostles, one of whom, after loud professions of devotion, had denied him with oaths and curses. It seemed as if that most wonderful and touching of all intercessory prayers that is recorded in John 17 had never reached the Father's ear, and as if the words, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy Son, were impossible of fulfillment. Not one soul, even of those who loved the Saviour best, understood him and his life work. Therefore, not one friend could really sympathize with the God-man who on his human side so hungered for sympathy. If you and I are truly following in the Master's footstep, we too must be willing to risk apparent failure in the eyes of the world, and harder still, must often be content to be misunderstood by our fellow Christians. It is only when we have learned the faith and obedience which leave all consequences with God that we can know the power and the deep joy contained in these words that one sounded so terrible. I am crucified with Christ. Jesus, thou living bread, ground in the mills of death, let me by thee be fed. Thy servant hangeth. Yes, thy servant hungereth. Jesus, thou choicest wine, nailed to the cross of woe. Now let thy life divine into my being flow. Strength for the coming day. The body doth impart, the blood doth cleanse away, the sins 
that stain my heart let not my heart be cold nor doubt when faith doth prove that in my hand i hold thy sacrament of love jesus be not a guest that tarrieth but a day come to my longing breast come and forever stay yes he reigneth he reigneth but let us never forget that it is from the throne on golgotha yes jesus christ is our salvation as we read in revelation it speaks in 7 verse 10 he is the omnipotent god who reigns revelation 19 verse 6 is true jesus christ is the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true yes we may have ups and downs in our life and sometimes we may even have sorrow we may face death of our loved ones we may be in deep deep distress and problems let us look to the cross for the word is true as we read in matthew 11 verse 28 come to me all those who are heavy laden and burdened and i will give you rest hallelujah the answer for our every question is from exodus 33 verse 14 it says a mighty god is saying to you and to me my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest hallelujah yes let us be encouraged let us never give up in life let us never quit in life for jesus christ is gone ahead of us yes he is a mighty god he has loved us for a mighty god has loved us with everlasting love jeremiah 31 verse 3 is true he is our i am who i am exodus 3 verse 40 there is nothing impossible for a living god as we read the mighty word it speaks from matthew 1926 and luke 137 with god all things are possible yes for the word is true it says in matthew 6 verse 34 do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself enough are the cares of the day hallelujah isn't that wonderful for jesus christ paid it all for us on the cross of calvary he will wipe away our every tear he will lead us to the living waters and he will be our shepherd hallelujah the word is true as we read the mighty word in revelation 7 10 and 7 17 yes he is our emmanuel god with us he is our ebenezer god will help us and he is our yahweh ere god will provide genesis 22 verse 14 genesis 22 verse 8 yes many times we think what will be our future who will be there with us who will take care of our children isn't it as i 46 was 10 says that from the beginning he knows the end hallelujah the word is true in isaiah 46 was full it says that he will carry us he will deliver us he will also carry us even in our gray hair and old age yes these are not just words beloved the word is life the word is spirit john 6 was 63 the word is fire the word is hammer which will break the rock into pieces jeremiah 23 was 28 and 29 is true yes let us look at the cross for jesus christ has been victorious he is the maker of heaven and earth beloved as i and my father are one the word is true as we read in john 10 verse 30 
as we read in Psalm 121 it says I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does my help come from my help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot be moved behold he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is your keeper the Lord is a shade on your right hand the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night the Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for ever more hallelujah yes for a mighty god is there with you and me beloved in all times yes whether it is very sorrowful days or days of famine the word is true as we read in psalm 37 verse 19 in days of famine we will enjoy plenty the word has come true in my life also as the word came to me fear not only believe mark 5 was 36 hallelujah for the word is true it says heavens and earth shall pass away but my words will not pass away matthew 24 35 as we read in hebrews 13 was 8 it says as jesus christ is the same yesterday today and for ever hallelujah yes for he has loved us that is also love our living god with all our heart mind soul and strength let us take out at least half an hour from the 24 hours and meditate on the word of our living god for the word is true it says those who fear him shall prosper as we read in proverbs 28 verse 25 and psalm 112 verse 3 the word says those who fear him yes shall have wealth and riches in their house hallelujah yes the word is true as we read in deuteronomy 33 verse 26 and 27 it says the eternal god is our refuge and the word says further as we read it says that he comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me i have experienced it yes let us put all our trust in the lord trust the lord at all times psalm 62 verse 8 is true yes and also remember that we have to grow in the word of our living god and the word is true it says 365 times in the bible fear thou not the word is true as it says in isaiah 41 verse 10 13 and 14 fear the not for i am with thee fear the not for i am with thee fear the not for i am with thee i myself will help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand and i will take your right hand in my hand remember in all these things we are more than conquerors Romans 8:37 and he has promised us he will never leave us nor forsake us Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 is true yes so the word says be strong be courageous hallelujah remember let us look at the cross and the word says in Psalm 96:10 that the lord reigns yes it is true he is the maker of heaven and earth beloved He has all power and authority. Matthew 28 is true. Evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And he is with us till the end of the age. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Be encouraged. Yes. And be joyful. Yes. Remember the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8:10. Be blessed today and every day. Let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Abba, Father, we come in your mighty presence. Bless my every listener. Yes, and heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. 
for with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us you heal us isaiah 53 verse 5 is true you took our infirmities and carried our diseases the word is true as we read the mighty word from matthew 8 verse 17 provide the needs of my listener genesis 22 verse 14 and you are a banner isaiah we read the mighty word from 11 verse 10 thank you for this time to pray and for loving us thank you for the mighty presence over here right now we rebuke every satanic power and believe in the name of jesus of nazareth thank you for loving us and this time to pray this prayer we ask in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth amen Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.